Well, in a not so surprising move, turns out the satanic Jesuit Pope Francis has praised this uh, openly pro-homosexual Jesuit ministry and Jesuit priest, which really isn't all that surprising, like I said before, when you consider the fact that uh, Roman Catholicism is just a continuation of the pagan Greco-Roman religion, which was rife with all manner of sexual perversion and sexual degeneracy. So it's not surprising that homosexuality has been rife within the Catholic clergy, like something like 80% of the Catholic clergy uh, have basically have some kind of ties towards homosexuality. Or other kinds of sexual perversions, like all the priests that get busted with pornography and all this other stuff, and, and all kinds of sexual perversion. Part of it is also this unscriptural, uh, wicked force celibacy, where basically they get into all kinds of fornication as a result. See First Corinthians seven verse one to two on that. But uh, basically, the Pope Francis, Jesuit Pope Francis, obviously under the the command of his uh, the Black Pope, the King of the Arcane Master Occult Leader, the Black Pope is coming out and basically praising this pro-homosexual minister. Not surprising one bit, says him here in Breitbart News, Pope Francis showers gay ministry with praise during Pride Month. Oh, I bet. Says, Pope Francis has written a third supportive letter to the uh, LGBTQQIAAP2S+, uh, advocate Father, call no man Father, Matthew 23, verse 9, or, or sorry, Matthew 23, verse 7 and 9, uh, but Father James Martin, promising him prayers for the success of a Pride Month conference to be held in New York this month. He says, I wish I send my best regards to the members of the meeting at Fordham University. The pontiff wrote to his fellow Jesuit, you and all who are working at, on the outreach conference are in my prayers and good wishes. <laughs> that makes me sick. But hey, just keeping with their longstanding Greco-Roman Catholic tradition. And that's why it's called the Roman Catholic Church. The Jesuit order is all kind is filled with all kinds of uh, disgusting perversion. It says in the article, uh, he has done or as sorry, as he has done on other occasions, the Pope praised Father, so-called Father Martin, uh, all the good for all the good you are doing. Thank you uh, for your witness. He added, the Pope's handwritten letter is dated on May 6 and refers specifically to the outreach LGBTQ Catholic Ministry Conference to be held at Fordham University from June 16th to the 18th. The, I, the interesting thing about this is that. Uh, despite being rife with homosexuality and sexual perversion, the Catholic Church does officially condemn homosexuality in their catechism. I know because I read it. I have a copy of the catechism on my bookshelf, as well as numerous other Catholic documents and Catholic official Catholic, you know, books. They do. Uh, it is forbidden to be homosexual and Catholic. Essentially, you can't engage in homosexuality. Put it that way. Uh, so it's, it's interesting how um, they can't even keep in. Uh, basically in line with their own traditions. I mean, they violate scripture all the time, but they can't even, you know, stay true to their own traditions, you know, because even their own tradition condemns homosexuality, as well as scripture, by the way. But it says in the article, this is the third such letter Pope Francis sent to uh, Father Martin on previous occasion. He thanked him for his pastoral zeal while commending him for imitating the style of God. Oh, man, that, that is just makes me sick. I mean, aside from being totally, completely blasphemous, uh, actually, not, not really when you think about it, because the Catholic God is not the God of the Bible, put it that way. So he is most certainly imitating the style of God, which is the Antichrist. And and it makes sense why he's saying this gay priest is imitating it, because, well, Daniel chapter, I think it's 11, verse 36 to down to verse 38, indicate that the Antichrist may be a homosexual. So yeah, they are definitely imitating their God, their false God, the Antichrist. Plain and simple, the man of sin. But this is just disgusting. This is supposedly the, the church Jesus Christ founded. You know, I mean, if you're a Catholic watching this and you say, okay, this is disgusting, you know, how do you claim that? I mean, let alone being in line with, because let's, let's face the reality. The Catholic Church has never been friendly towards uh, laity who are gay. I mean, look at the Spanish Inquisition. They burned sodomites at the stake, you know? So, I mean, like I said, they can't even keep true to their own tradition. So how do you, if you're a Catholic watching this, how do you claim you're Christ's church when you can't even, when your church can't even stay true to its own tradition, let alone can't stay, to, can't stay true to scripture? Sorry about that. You know, if you're watching this, what do you think about this? Uh, but in the end, Roman Catholicism is a satanic cult, so this kind of stuff is to be expected. So I wanted to point that out. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.